Welcome, Pisces. This is your January 2019 Happy New Year to all of you, Angel Tarot and Oracle Reading. I hope that you had a beautiful season at Christmas of giving and receiving love. Thank you again for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking, sharing, and subscribing to these readings. Please be sure when you subscribe to click on the bell button next to it and then you'll be notified immediately when I go out on YouTube with these free card readings. As you know, this is a general reading and every single card cannot apply to every single Pisces on the planet. But if you'd like accuracy, answers to any questions, I welcome you to go to my website and there you'll see the services that I offer and how to either schedule a private reading with me or a private Reiki session. So all my beautiful Pisces, all my beautiful mermaids and mermen, let's see what January has for us because as you know I am a fish and a Pisces as well. So here we go Pisces. Well, for your for the overall energy, you've been given the Eight of Fire, which actually is the Eight of Wands. And this shows me that there's going to be a lot of activity coming into you, Pisces. There's going to be a lot of information coming in. There's going to be, it could be uh, via the internet. Uh, you know, maybe some of you are taking, you know, telephone calls. Uh, there may be actual mail coming in for you. And I do see that events and things are going to be coming in very quickly. This is going to be a busy month for you, Pisces. I do see that things are changing around you. It's going to be a busy month and things are moving very quick. So just pace yourself, okay? Uh, don't, uh, don't, you know, burden yourself down too much. Pace yourself so you can get through all of this uh, movement that's coming in, all of this activity coming into you. You may have been waiting for this exact situation to arrive and all of a sudden now, wow, here it is. It's coming into you, Pisces. So the delays are going to be over now, Pisces. Things are going to start shifting. You're starting to evolve. All these things and these plans are coming into play now for the, starting in January. I do see that there's just many, many, many things happening that are going to come into you for January. And that's your overall energy for the month. So there's going to be a lot of things happening uh, during this month in all avenues in your life. Uh, you do have three earth cards here, which often uh, often are analyzed and depicted as money, okay, business, okay, our work. You have two self-development cards here with the fire cards. And you have one, two, three major arcana cards of major information coming in. Only one that has to do with legal issues uh, may have to do with justice and judgment. Uh, that may deal with some of it. You only have one, which is actually the swords, which I'm kind of happy being a Pisces myself. We don't have a lot of swords in this reading because swords often mean challenges, major challenges in our life. So the all over energy is things are going to start shifting very quickly. Okay, there's going to be a lot of information, a lot of changes coming in to some of you. I do see these changes are good changes. Uh, coming in. I don't take this as a negative card whatsoever because you know what? Wands are new growth. They're, you, you know, making you realize you're ready to take action and you're going to be. It's all about, uh, you know, lots of things coming in. Do not let a lot of this, uh, you know, there could, it could also signify you're taking on more than you can handle. But I only see two cards here, only two of these wands and these two fire cards here. So I don't see it as that. Uh, interpretation. I just see there's going to be a lot of changes coming in and a lot of action that you're going to be getting involved in. I mean, it's wonderful. It could have to do with, you know, parties. It could have to do with, you know, uh, beautiful, happy activities. It could have to do with lots of things coming into you. But I do see these these uh, business cards, these earth cards as well, and it may start to be centered around that that's happening in your life. Okay. So let's see, <clears throat> let's see what's on your mind, Pisces. Well, right now you've been given the balance card, which is actually the temperance card in the regular tarot. And this talks about, you know, doing things moderately, not jumping in with both feet, Pisces. You don't want to jump in. You don't want to jump into uh, the quicksand too quick, uh, too fast, and then try to figure out how to swim your way out. It's about being balanced <clears throat> spiritually, emotionally, and mentally so that you're physically able to take on the workload, okay? You're able to take on 
all of this that's going to be coming into you, all of this action that's coming into you here, <clears throat> Pisces. So you, you have to be balanced, okay? So that means, you know, do things that are going to help you to get your rest, that are, you know, uh, pace yourself and make sure you make out a priority list, okay? So that you're getting the things done that you need to get done, but you're not going to uh, tire yourself out, okay? So that's what this is about. This is about the need to balance, doing things in moderation, doing things in, you know, with the temperance card, doing things uh, when you consider that cooperation and compromise are coming into play, waiting for the perfect timing before you jump in with both feet, as I said, into the quicksand. So, you know what, <clears throat> this is what's on your mind. You're thinking that, you know, there's a lot going on and you're going to have to just relax a bit, okay? Don't take on so much. <clears throat> now... Let's see uh, what is you're working towards. Well, it shows me that you're working towards a lot of things. Look at the all these all these pentacles. This is amazing. This is about being grounded and be, and abundance coming into you, Pisces, and starting fresh and a new positive direction. It has to do with money, and I talked about that when I saw the three of them in here. So I do see that you know you're going to get a happy home life. I do see things are going to balance out there for you too. Your financial situation is going to be stable, okay? You're going to have that security that you've been working towards here. Lots and lots of pentacles in here. When we talk about the 10, this is, means success. This means you're going to see all of these things come into fruition. This means that you're going to be happy in, those, in, in all aspects of your life like that when it comes to your personal and family life and your financial situation. You're now going to be able to see the magic in the little things, okay? You're going to be able to sit back and say, wow, finally, things are working out for me. I've got enough money that I can be stable with, I'm secure with. Uh, I see the inflow of this coming into you more and more. Uh, I do see the success of business. I do see the success in maybe a new business some of you uh, are getting involved in. It could be an internet business. It could be, uh, you know... Uh, you get, you're getting a promotion at your place of employment. Uh, I do see some of you maybe stepping out, actually, and go, taking on a second business, a second, uh, you know, um, form of income. So this is all good. But know that you're, if you've been struggling and working uh, <clears throat> too hard, you're now going to be able to balance. You need to balance your home life and your work life here, okay, with this. This came in after balance, so please know that you need to allocate jobs to those that can help you get through this and pace yourself, okay? Pace yourself here because there's going to be a lot of stuff going on, and you need to be balanced in order for your home life and your, to be uh, in balance with your work life. So let's see what's going to benefit you. Well, what's going to benefit you here is this is the only air card and the only sword card you got. And this is you being able to take on take on and charge forward, okay? This is about you being able to step forward and take on this responsibility that, that's coming into you, okay? Because it does still talk about all these events that are going to come in very, very quickly for you, Pisces. So take time to carefully review all your options, okay? When an event should be brought into you. Perhaps there's something legal coming into you. Maybe you're being offered, uh, you know, a settlement in something for some of you Pisces in court. Uh, and you know what? Make sure that you, you know, you take your time. Uh, this person that may be bringing this information to you or may be helping you may be a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarian that brings in this information to you. And they may be the ones that are going to be able to assist you with this issue. It could be a justice issue. It could be a legal issue. It could be a business issue here. Uh, you know, that you're getting involved in and you may be, getting, be given an offer. Carefully take time to review your options, okay? I do see that this Knight of Air, <clears throat> who may be, like I said, um, <clears throat> uh, may be a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarian, uh, they're going to be creative. And they're going to help you to make these decisions properly, okay? But this event's going to come in suddenly and kind of knock you back on your heels, and you're going to, well, wow, I, I, you know, I, I wasn't ready for this. I, you know, I've got all this stuff going on. Um, but know that you're going to get help. This individual who brings this in may be able to show you how you can step up and do this. I do see you charging forward in a positive direction, Pisces, okay, towards your goal. So this is what's going to benefit you, okay? Now, <clears throat> all righty. I'm just going to turn these over so that because it, sometimes it's easier for you to see this. Now, 
<clears throat> your future opportunities. Okay, this is what your future opportunities are. And again, it's another earth card. It's another pentacle. It's great. It's about you being able to realize that under crunch time, okay, when you're when you're being, uh, you know, backed up against the wall and you've got a, uh, 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 how am I going to put this? Um, there's, you have a time span to get things done, okay? Uh, you're on a schedule, okay? Lots of things are coming in. Now you've got to, you know, prioritize. You've got to, you know, cross your T's, dot all your I's and get things done. You know, <clears throat> December came in where maybe none of this was occurring. And all of a sudden now January showed up, Pisces. And now you've got to step up to the plate and get your work done because it's going to show the success throughout this reading by you doing this. So it's about you honoring <clears throat> your previous commitments. Things may not have been getting done as quickly as you wish they had. And you kind of had to put things on the shelf. You step back for, for, you know, there could have been obvious reasons that you couldn't get this workload done at the time. Now you're going to have to do it because you're, it's crunch time now. Okay, you've got to get this done. But this is the card that shows me that you have your guardian angel there beside you. Okay, this king of earth. This king of earth, he may be a Taurus, he may be a Virgo or a Capricorn, or it could be a woman as well. But it's showing me, I'm not the king, pardon me, this is the knight. I knew I said that wrong. I'm looking at him saying, that's no king, that's a knight if I ever saw one. So this knight may be coming in. This knight may be the one that's going to rescue you. This may be your guardian angel that's going to save you here with this workload. Or maybe the one that's going to be able to set up a schedule or say to you, no, we can get all this done if I help you. And so I do see help coming in for this. You're going to be able to get help with this knight. And like I say, he may be, he may be, uh, you know, like I said, um, a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn that you know coming in to help you. It could also be a female of those signs as well, or, you know, that's who's going to be there to give you your guidance, your guardian angel. This, you can get this work done, my friend Pisces, okay? Just allocate jobs to other people. Know that someone's there to give you a hand and, you know, prioritize your workload, okay? Because I don't want you to get tired out here, Pisces, because you do, t Pisces do uh, take on a lot more at times than they can handle because they're excellent at being multitaskers. But at the end of the day, they start to show the wear and tear of that, you know, emotionally, spiritually, mentally, and physically. So take care of yourself. Know that your guardian angel is going to be there, and you need to step up, buckle down, and get this work done. Because I do see this is going to benefit you throughout this month when you get this completed, okay? So let's see how you feel about this whole situation. Well, you've got the magician. And this is an amazing, amazing card, uh, you know, in... Uh, in both suits. I mean, the magician is a magician, no matter how you look at it. Uh, but this is telling me, you know, I tell people to watch this infinity sign over his head. Uh, this is, you know, often can be depicted as the number eight as well, which is money again. And this is telling me that, you know what, uh, you, you, you're looking at this, you're very optimistic, Pisces, which is really good. And, but it shows me that you know you're ready. Okay, the magician is all about you realizing that you're ready to stand up there on your platform and start showing everybody your gifts now. Start, start showing people what you're made of and what you're capable of, okay? Uh, Pisces, you're ready and you have the resources and the ability right now to manifest whatever it is you want with this magician, okay? It's almost as life is, is magical, okay? This is Archangel Raziel, okay? Uh, you know, standing there. Uh, you know, letting you know that no matter what adversities come into you, Pisces, you're capable of standing up there and just plowing through it. Just like with this Knight of Swords, okay? You're able to get on that steed and move forward. I do see that these activities are coming in very quickly to you. You've been wanting something, Pisces. You've been expecting something, and it's coming, my friend, and you're going to be able to stand up now and show your gifts and stand up, okay, and get the work done that you needed to do. And it's almost like things are going to start happening now for you. Things are starting to improve. You, you know, you're, you really are going through a transformation, Pisces, and it's now getting into your own. And 19, 2019, excuse me, is going to be a year for you, Pisces. You standing in your own power. You standing in your own strength now. <clears throat> you standing in your own belief. Uh, knowing that you have the integrity, the intelligence, and your moral status is now starting to take play. A lot of you are very intuitive, very psychic, uh, often you're healers, uh, and you've tapped into that uh, 
that ability and that gift to share with others. And you're going to stand up there and people are going to take notice, Pisces, of what you're capable of. This is your year. This is your year. Look at all these earth cards coming into play. Your year to uh, bring in the fruition and the fruits of your labor. Pisces, this is amazing. Amazing, amazing. Okay, now let's see what the advice from the tarot is. Let's see what the universe is telling you. Well, they've given you the Empress, <clears throat> Pisces. This is an amazing, the Empress is an amazing card and, and of fruition, okay, of rebirth. Uh, she, you know, she's the ultimate. She is the mother. She brings in a rebirth, new birth, okay, lavish abundance and giving birth to your dreams. Some of you Pisces may actually be, be giving the gift of a new life coming into your home. Perhaps you have a daughter, a niece, uh, you know, someone is having a baby. Uh, some of you may be given the gift of, uh, you know, uh, being able to procreate, you become pregnant. Or you're going to be given the gift of a new life coming in. Perhaps some of you are going through the adoption uh, process. But this is also the major, major uh, meaning behind this is being able to give birth to your dreams, okay? And being able to nurture yourself now, taking care of yourself, tapping into your own intuition, tapping into that. This is about tapping into your own intuition, okay? Knowing when you need to keep things back for yourself. It's not keeping secrets. It's about not letting everybody know everything at once. It's about timing, bringing out your gifts at the right time time okay standing firm sitting there but looking around at your court here and knowing wow I love my life where it is I love taking on what I'm taking on but I know that I'm worthy now I can see this lavish abundance coming in and being able now Pisces to give birth to your dreams you're working towards that goal here it's coming into play it's coming in Pisces I think this is amazing for you now, let's see what your hopes and fears are, okay? Well, your fears are, obviously, that you're not going to see this come to fruition. You're worried that the seeds you planted haven't been received. People aren't taking notice. How are they going to react when this, you know, these, your gifts start to come out? How, or perhaps some of you at work have put out a proposal. But look at all of these, all of these beautiful, beautiful <clears throat> pentacles sitting there. And often this has to do with money. I've told you before, pentacles are about abundance and being grounded and knowing the right time to step forward. It's about a fresh start and a new positive direction. And it has to do because this came through with the earth card, which have to do with money. So there is a bit of a pause here. Pisces, some of you may be thinking and worrying <clears throat> unnecessarily that whatever you, the seeds you planted, you don't know, why haven't you heard? Why haven't, hasn't it come into play? Why haven't people reacted? Why aren't you hearing from potential clients or your older clients uh, that you have? Why are you not uh, getting any, uh, you know, uh, reaction from someone that maybe you put out a proposal to or a tweaking, a shifting in what you do with your business or your job? Um, but it's coming. This is coming, my friend. This is a temporary pause. It's going to come, so stop worrying about it. My dear friend, Pisces, you planted those seeds so well. Look at all the new growth coming in, all this harvest. It's almost like springtime. Everything's going to start to grow for you. This is only January, Pisces, but it's starting to take place now. Beautiful, beautiful card, Pisces. Things are going to work out, so stop worrying, okay? That's what your fears are. You're waiting. You're waiting. You're, and you know what? We're all impatient, aren't we? We want everything yesterday, immediately. Know that you're planting those seeds. Well, this change, this transformation, Pisces, that you're making in your life, this shift to, with your business, this shift, all of this information coming in, you standing up for what you believe in. But you've got to be balanced, okay, with this temperance card. Moderation, okay, compromise, okay? This is all about cooperation and knowing that things are going to happen for you. Even though things start to go quickly, step back, take a breath, and prioritize here. Allocate work and jobs for other people. Okay, let's see, Pisces, what your results are for this month. Well, you've been given the fire, which is the, the or pardon me, I want to say king all the time. You haven't had a king here. You've had all knights, and this is about moving forward. Knights move fast. This is about the Knight of Wands. And again, this is about new growth. This is about being ready for you to take action, okay? 
that's what this is about and knowing that it's going to happen this is your final result card a sudden event needs your immediate attention and time is of the essence so think things through through carefully that's what all of these cards have been saying you have been applying yourself you planted those seeds well my friend pisces okay now things are going to start to shift and they are going to shift quickly you're able now to charge forward you're able now to see the whole picture and deal with this, okay? This Knight of Fire could be an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarian that's coming in uh, into your life right now. These may be clients of yours that may carry these uh, these these traits these these uh, of this Knight, okay? Passionate and adventurous and self-assured. Don't be restless anymore, my friend, okay? This is coming into fruition. You're going to be able to deal with this sudden event because I see... A transformation here. I see things shifting for you, Pisces. I see things here in business improving. You've been working on that. Um, I do see that you will have to balance your home life and your work life because you're going to be so busy with clients. You're going to be so busy with business. You're going to be so busy with making money here, Pisces. You're going to be blown out of the water with how successful things are turning around for you. Uh, I do see this, you know, uh, being able to see the fruits of your labor. Uh, you know, this infinity sign, I tell people, reverse that infinity, infinity sign, and that is a number eight. Eight is the number you manifest for money, my friends, uh, with this magician. Now, let's see, Pisces, what your messages from your guides, your angels, and the universe are giving you. Well, I have to tell you, these are your daily, these are my daily uh, beautiful angel uh, messages. But when I was shuffling, I was asking Divine Spirit to send me one card, and they threw very strongly two cards out on board here. So I felt the need that I must read both of these for you. And the first one you got, my friend, is family. And this situation is rooted, okay? So there may be issues with family some of you are dealing with, okay? Uh, here, there may be an issue within family. All right. So this situation is rooted in an emotional experience with a family member. Some of you Pisces may have had issues with someone in your family. OK, uh, you know, which the divine, I mean, your guides and angels in the universe are coming in to say they can help you with this. OK, help you to heal with this. This is a healing card for issues that maybe some of you Pisces have had either with a family member or someone that you loved and brought into your circle as though they were family, okay? There's been pain here. There's been hurt here. I see that, Pisces. Um, and this is talked about this throughout from September, October, and November. There has been issues where someone either walked away from you, there was a division, there was a separation with family, or someone that you loved as family, a very, very close friend who you loved. And, you know, in your mind, in your heart, surround this person and yourself and the experience with calming blue light. Okay, this is a healing uh, from your angels. And be open to the gifts within the situation and allow yourself to feel peace. Okay, this is all about healing here with this family member or this friend. So, you know, there's healing work that needs to be done and is going on right now. Okay, uh, it also might signal a need for family togetherness such as spending more time with your family, okay, in the evenings or holiday time to get together. So your angels will guide you through this passage, okay? Now, let's see what the other card they gave you here is, uh, because you were given two. They flew out. Well, look at that. You've been given joy. So the healing process has started. So joy is the highest energy of all, my friend Pisces. It's the magical sense that everything is possible, okay? So you know what? This, this person may come back into your life, this person here that you had an issue with, uh, this family member, okay? The healing process is going through, and that happens with forgiveness. So, you know, joy springs from appreciating the gifts within each moment. Joy allows you to attract and create, uh, you know, your present and future moments at their highest possible levels. So it's reminding you that you need to feel joy, okay? Bring joy back into your life. Know that it's possible again. Once we heal and we forgive, joy can come back into our soul again. Joy can come back into our lives again, okay? And if it's a matter of letting go, let go with love, okay? To allow joy to come back. So let's see what we got here now for our answers from our angels. Oh my goodness. Ha, what could come out better? We had family issues. We had a healing card. And now you got forgiveness. Oh my goodness. We talked about forgiveness. We talked about that coming into play. So my dear, dear friends, that's what this is about, Pisces. 
that is what's going to bring this back into uh, fruition again. Perhaps they're going to come back in um, again into your life. This, this, these people, these family members, this close friend that you had a divi division happen. Forgiveness can create and work miracles, my friend. When you release the past, a weight is lifted from your shoulders, okay? And a sense of freedom, freedom, it washes over you, Pisces. Ask your angels to help you let go of this sadness, my friends, and the pain caused by others so that you can be free, okay? This card also refers to the need for self-forgiveness. It's time to let go of any just judgment you're carrying, any ill feelings that you're carrying, uh, that you're harboring in your heart, within your soul, within you, okay? Um, any guilt that's holding you back, uh, you know, regardless of what mistakes you may have made. Forgive yourself too, Pisces, okay? We all do things where none of us are perfect, all right? Give yourself credit for having tried your best, even if the results weren't what you would have liked. Focus on the changes you've made since then that have made you a better person. Forgiveness, my friends. So, you know, walking away, walking away from a situation for your greater good, learning from it. Okay, that's what forgiveness is about. Well, Pisces, great reading. I do see success coming into you. Uh, some of you coming into you when it comes to business and money. I do see that, you know, you're able to, you've tapped into your gentle side. You're letting go. You're forgiving. Boy, that was a major outcome card here from the universe and your guides. They're, they're recognizing that you're, you're stronger now to walk away. You're able to deal with anything coming in now. Beautiful reading, Pisces. I, w I will see you again in February. I wish you a wonderful month of January, and I want you to always know I will always continue to stand in that circle of light for you, my friends.